in back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so here is the updated solution for this lab so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait now here just simply search for the api and here you can see api and services just simply open this thing new tab come back over here and then click on this library now again come back over here click on the task number one and from here just simply copy this name Come back over here now just simply search over here wait for a second and here you can see google cloud data catalog just simply click over here and then click on this enable button so we are done with the task number one now for the task number two come back to the dashboard now just simply search for the big query open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second click on this three dot and then click on this create data set now for the data set id come back over here click on the task number two just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this data set id just simply paste over here and then click on this create so you are done with the task number two now for the task number three again just simply switch back to the dashboard and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and click on continue now what you do come back over here click on the task number three just simply scroll down and copy this command come back over here wait for a second now Now just simply paste the command, hit enter, wait for a second and then click on authorize. Now just simply wait for this command get executed and once it's done, you are done with the task number 3. And it's done. Now if you just come back over here and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry because lab take time to update the score. Now I saw most of you guys facing the issue on the task number 4, so I request you please watch the video carefully. So first of all what you do, just simply come back over here and just simply search for the data flex. Open this thing new tab, come back over here. Now click on this get started and then click on this tag template. Wait for a second and then click on this create tag. Now for the name, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this name. And make sure that you do not copy an extra space. Just simply copy like this, come back over here and paste. Now for the location, for me the given location is US East one so I am going to choose that. For you it might be different so you have to just simply choose that. So I am going to choose US East one like this way. Now I request you please watch the video carefully because I saw most of you guys going to make a mistake on the field. So first of all what we have to do, we have to add 4 fields. So just simply click on this add fields. Now just simply scroll down and now for the first field name, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this name. Just simply copy like this, come back over here and paste. One more thing guys, for the first field, we have to just click on this checkbox. Make sure that for the first field, we have to click on this checkbox. Okay. Now for the type of your first field, just simply choose string and then click on this done. So you are done with the first field. Now again, click on this add field. Again, just simply scroll down and for the second field, just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number five, copy this name. Just simply copy like this, come back over here and paste. Now for the second field type, you have to just simply choose the double and then click on this done. Now again click on this add field, again just simply scroll down and for the third field name, just simply scroll down and from the point number 7 you can see has PII. Just simply copy this name, come back over here and paste. Now for the third type, just simply choose a boolean and then click on this done. So you are done with the third field. Now again click on this add field, again just simply scroll down and for the fourth name, just simply scroll down and from the point number 9 you can see PII type. Just simply copy like this, come back over here and paste. like. This this way and now for the type you have to just simply choose the enumerated now here you can see values for the first value what you do just simply copy this image as a value one and paste over here like this now again click on this add value now copy this as a value two just simply paste and then click on this add value now for the third just simply copy this paste over here and then click on this done so you are done with all this configuration make sure it must look like this if it's so then click on this create button now just simply wait and it's done. Now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated, no need to worry because lab take time to update the score. Meanwhile, what we will do, we will continue with the task number 5. So basically what we will do, just simply copy this name, come back over here and then click on this search. Just simply search over here and make sure that you have to click on this search button. Now here you can see data set, just simply click over here. Just simply wait. And then click on this attach tags. Now from here just simply choose your template and then click on this done. Now here you can see source data, data set, just simply we have to just add one value. So just simply scroll down and from here you can see from the point number 8 just simply copy this value and just simply paste over here. Now here you can see PIA type just simply click over here and then choose the null. 
like this way if you are not able to see no need to worry just simply click on this save and it's done now if you just come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry because lab take time to update the score meanwhile we will check the score for the task number four just simply click over here and let's see as you can see we got a score now just simply scroll back over here and click on the check my progress for task number five we will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys